Hello everyone, it's Coach Mark here with the Texas Pride. Today we've, uh, we've had a little trouble with our pitchers making routine plays on bunts and slow rollers. So we have a couple drills here that, to uh, show you that we hope that will fix the problem. So we'll go ahead and get started with the first one. Okay, we're back again for another drill to help our pitcher get our outs at uh, you know, first base and second base. So we've tried to line her up to make good throws, and so what, we'll keep working on that. But the second thing we need to do is try to get the lead out more often. Oftentimes, the balls are hit such that it's hard to make a decision whether you have enough time for going to second base or to first base. So Hannah, what we're going to do is we're going to do a drill called a countdown drill. So basically, I'm going to start counting. And one, and two, and three, and... So what we know is, in our league at 12U, three seconds is a very, very fast runner. So if it's under three, then you could go ahead and get the runner at second base. If it's going to be more than three seconds, then you're going to have to go to first base to get the, the runner. So what we'll do is we'll have Brianna hit some balls to you, or roll some balls to you, and I'll be counting, and we'll get the fielders to count with us, and that should help you get your internal clock going gives you a feel for you if you have enough time to go to second or to first. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. All right. So you, if you have plenty of time, where will you go? Second. We'll lead up. All right. We'll do it once without any runners, and then we'll put our runners in on second, okay? So it's countdown drill. I'll count loud. Go ahead and do your motion for Brianna. And one, and two, and three. And I think we got that out. I was counting a little too fast. Let's do that one more time. Take a little slow, Brianna. Very, very, very fast runner at first base, JoJo, and a re average runner at batter, Malia. I can be fast from one else. Get on the right side and slow down. All right. So what we're going to do is, if I can get some help from uh, Lindsay and Mac, and I, we're all going to go and one, and two, and three, and you're going to have to make the decision with real runners. Okay? Go ahead and do your motion. And one, and two, and three. Okay. Help me out, girls. Did we have a chance for that runner at second, you think? It's pretty close, so if you if you don't know, go ahead and go to first. Let's try it one more time. Okay, go to your motion. And one, and two, and very good. All right, let's try it one more time. JoJo, run full speed. Do everything you can on this last one. Very nice job lining yourself up and making the decision. Okay. And one, and two, and three. Mac and Curly could have got a double play on that one. Very good. Anyhow, come in real quick. Y'all come in with me real fast. So, what we did is we called that one as a countdown drill. So, we'll do that in practice a few more times and get used to how it works. And then, pretty soon, Hannah's internal clock and in should have a feel for the speed of the game. And that'll help her make a decision on whether to go to first or second. Andy, do you feel like those things will help you yeah. in a game? Yeah. Maybe a few tips will really help you? Very good. All right, so that's our two drills. That was the, the alignment drill and the countdown drill. Thanks.